Hi, this is Bhavna from India Today. Jay, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much. I have to tell you the trailer for season two of Minx looks so amazing. I think everything that you guarantee, like, you know, the fact that it is going to be much better and bigger. I, I can see that when I'm watching the trailer. But tell me, um, what was that experience like? Because it was not an easy ride for you all because the studio, of course, backed out when it comes to the second season. There were a lot of uh, things that were going on uh, simultaneously while you all were shooting. What was your uh, state of mind like? You know, it was pretty easy for us. We uh, The writing was really strong this year. I think they listened to what the fans liked about the show and wanted, and they heightened it. So there's, there's more happening. There's more story. It gets a little bit bigger. The characters kind of grow and evolve, and there's new obstacles in a fun way. Um, and then in terms of the HBO Max to Stars thing, for us, we didn't really miss a beat. So... You know, it just felt like passing the baton, and I think we're in a better home. So we feel really happy with where we landed. It would be really sad if we were doing this movie, in, uh, this TV show independently, and we didn't have a streamer. But um, as soon as Stars came on board, I felt really excited, and they have such a great plan for it. So I'm excited we're doing this right now, and you guys all get to see the show soon. You know, more than me, I've seen the reactions on the internet, and oh my God, people have been really looking forward to the second season but i want to know in terms of your character development uh from the first season to the next how has that been uh for you is there something which was majorly dif which is supposedly very different this time around when we see uh, when we watch yeah doug kind of doug kind of gets served as medicine this season a little bit you know <laughs> as an actor you don't get to write it so you just you get the script and you see what the writers were thinking. And so my question a lot was like, why is everybody mad at Doug? You know, I didn't think, I don't think Doug was a bad guy season one. So I think at the end but of I season But I think he deserves a bit of it. Yeah, I mean, well, I, he does I, I deserve think, a bit of it. I feel like the audience and the writers agree with you. I just didn't. I don't think Doug did anything <laughs> wrong. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of season two where Doug's, uh, old Dougie Renetti's getting kicked down a little bit and, you know, yeah, taking his medicine. And there was a lot for me that was really floored because I thought in playing him, well, I thought he was pretty generous and I thought he made some good <laughs> business decisions. And then in the end, he like apologizes to Joyce, gives her the magazine. So season two for me was a lot of like, ooh, they're roasting this poor man and all he's trying to do is make some money. No, I think uh, I think it's totally deserving. I mean, Doug really does need a bit of that medicine for sure. <laughs> but you know, I <laughs> slightly hate to disagree there, but clearly, you know. Uh, but but I but I also want to know when when such a character comes to you, where uh, you are not supposedly the generous or the nice guy as you would yeah, like yeah, to yeah. describe him to be. Um, how do you even um, you know what is your approach towards him? Because like you said. He's not entirely wrong or he's not entirely yeah. sinister. He is what he is. And uh, and we do come across people like them in real Agreed. life. How do, you, how do you approach a character like this? Yeah, I, I approach these characters all the same way. Either I, I, I need to see where they're coming from and I need to be able to defend these characters and I need to be able to think that they're right. And so I don't want to play a character that I personally, as Jake, can't see my way into and when i was growing yeah. up i had a lot of uncles uh that were you know father figures to me that were very much like doug and that type of character you know my mother had junk shops growing up which are basically like you know you know odds and ends furniture around chicago yeah. you would go to a lot of like pawn shops and junk shops and i was dealing with a lot of you know men like doug and my father sold, he had a car dealership. So that type of guy was very familiar. Um, and I like them. And I don't mind if someone's trying to hustle me out of a deal and they beat me in the negotiation. I don't think they're a bad person for it. I think they just mm. won the negotiation. See, you were, the, you were the person who was meant to play Doug because you <laughs> understand the psyche really well, you know? Well, I think and a lot of people, but, but I think a lot of people in negotiation, if they lose the negotiation, they feel like the other person's a bad person simply mm. because they won. But in sport, if you lose, <laughs> you have to have good sportsmanship, but that doesn't happen with money. And I think it should. 
I completely agree with you on that. No, oh, yes, you're actually very, very right. But it's been an amazing year for you. You know, I recently just watched uh, Spider Man Across the Spider Verse, and oh my god, it was yeah, such a delight uh, to have you as Peter Parker as well. I mean, uh, it is one of my most favorite characters in the film itself. Oh, Tell nice. me, how yeah. are you taking it? It's running really well in India right now. That's um, right here. It's exciting. You know, it's the Peter. Peter B. Parker is a character I really love to play. Uh, it started, uh, I got to give all credit to Phil Lord. Phil Lord is uh, one of the executive producers. He oversees all the writing, the direction, the animation. Uh, he came to me years ago with an email saying he was putting this movie together and he had a character in mind for me. Um, so the whole process has felt very collaborative. It's really fun. I think those, I think Phil and Chris Miller and all the directors and animators are really the top of the field. Uh, and so it just feels like so lucky to be part of it. I've been texting a little bit with Phil about the new one. Uh, and even hearing the beginning of the way his brain is thinking about it, it's just, it's going to be so great. And, it, you know, it's a real, it's a party I'm really excited that I'm allowed to be at. And I'm really excited for season two of Minx to come out. Uh, last year, I want to know from you, I read one of the posts you had written about season three also being in the picture. So do you want to uh, drop some hints for us? When is season it coming? Season three for Minx? Yes. Oh, I don't know. We got to see. Uh, I hope it gets picked up. I, I really love the show. Uh, and I, I really want to continue playing Doug. I think uh, Doug received his medicine season two. And I think season three, he's got to dish it out because I don't <laughs> want to be in a show that just beats up Doug Renetti. <laughs> That's not what we're doing here. So he received his medicine. Season three should be called uh, Now He Gives It Back. Lovely. On that note, thank you so much, Jake. It was lovely chatting with you. You too.